Welcome to another in the series of demonstrations designed to get you quickly up to speed with what's new in NX Cam. This video will demonstrate how you can now control the back off distance when using the Tor drive projection vector in fixed and variable axis milling operations. Previously, this value was hard coded to 100% of the tool diameter, requiring you to sometimes use a smaller than desired tool to obtain a good tool path in a small space. By specifying a small back off distance, you can now gain the desired machining efficiency and tool rigidity by using the largest possible tool to machine holes and slots. First we'll look at a common use case where back off distance needs to be decreased to accommodate as large a tool as possible in a hole. In the operation navigator, double click Streamline Legacy to edit the operation. In the drive method section of the dialog box, click Edit. In the preview section of the dialog box, click display. The points along the drive curves cannot be projected normal to the drive geometry using the hard-coded 100% tool diameter back off distance without causing the tool to collide with the opposite side of the hole. Click cancel. Click verify. Click play. As a result, a bad toolpath is created. Click OK. Now we'll specify a smaller back off distance and create a good toolpath. In the projection vector section of the dialog box, type 10 in the back off distance box. The points along the drive curves can now be projected normal to the drive geometry using the specified 10% tool diameter back off distance without causing the tool to collide with the opposite side of the hole. Click Generate. Click Verify and click Play. Click OK and OK to complete the operation. Next, we'll look at an example where the legacy operation requires the back off distance to be increased. In the Operation Navigator, double click Streamline Legacy to edit the operation. In the Drive Method section of the dialog box, click Edit. In the preview section of the dialog box, click Display. In this example, the drive path is deep into the part at the large fillet radius end. Click Cancel. Click Verify. As a result, a bad toolpath is created. Click Cancel. Now we'll specify a larger back off distance and create a good toolpath. In the projection vector section of the dialog box, type 200 in the back off distance box. Click Generate. Click Verify. Click Play. Click OK and click OK to complete the operation. This concludes the demonstration of how you can now control back off distance when using Tor Drive Projection Vector in fixed and variable axis milling operations. Thank you.